Hey everyone, um, welcome back to DIY Geek YouTube channel. In this video, I am um, reviewing and uh, commenting on this um, buck detector. So this is a radio frequency um, detector, uh, also call it a bug or a spy uh, listening device detector, whatever you want to call it. It's basically a detector for security to find eavesdropping, um, anti-tracking or tracking devices near you so that you can try to um, find out if there is something uh, that is tracking you. Um, one of the device that is a good example of this is an AirTag. Um, another one is, uh, it could be um, something as big as your cell phone, for example. That is also a device that emits or receives um, radio frequency. So anything that transmit and receive radio frequency is going to be or should be detected by this, uh, especially Wi-Fi. Um, so, so this is the box. I bought it from Amazon. It is not that cheap. It's, I think this one is about $50. This is amongst one of the cheapest which has a pretty decent review. Um, so I let me let me just do a, a quick unboxing and show you what it comes with. It's pretty basic. It comes with a manual, um, half in English, half in Chinese. Not really useful, uh, other than the fact that uh, it tells me how to turn it on and how to adjust the modes. So, like a lot of Chinese products, it's not very intuitive. You you really need to. Uh, need to know and uh, how to operate it first like for example uh, This button right here at the bottom is to turn it on and off. I mean, how do you know that you know the, the button looks the same and Why why did this one is not mark as on and off? So th those are the kind of stupidity that um, Unfortunately or fortunately that the Chinese um, manufacturer hasn't caught up with Good thing is that it uses a USB-C, which is, that's a good choice, because uh, everything is going to USB-C. Um, let's see, uh, what else? Uh, okay, so you long press the power button, it turns it on, and you can switch it to um, full band by, by clicking the power button again, uh, or infrared, this is an infrared detector, or you switch it back to Wi-Fi. So there's three modes, Wi-Fi, full band, Okay, so maybe I should Wi-Fi, full band, and infrared. Infrared emits infrared and, and try to detect infrared. So um, the one that I've been using is the full band and the Wi-Fi. And uh, so what it, what it does is just it detects, um, well, you got to increase the sensitivity. I use the maximum sensitivity at level 5. And at level 5... Well, this is one of the problem. It doesn't, okay, it doesn't detect, uh, okay, so let's, let's switch it to Wi-Fi and hopefully it, it works. There you go, as you can see, it's, uh, it's pretty iffy. I mean, this is, my cell phone is definitely emitting and receiving Wi-Fi signals, so let's, let's browse something just to, uh, Um, to prove that it is doing something. Alright, so let's increase the sensitivity, Wi-Fi. Um, let's refresh the page. Yeah, so I kind of jumped the um, review or whatever. My So spoiler alert, the, the review at the end um, would be that I am not happy with this. It doesn't really do the, the, the job that it should, meaning, I mean, I would expect right now this thing to be beeping. And, and once in a while it is beeping, so I know it's working. Um, but at times like this, I wonder, I mean, I'm clearly using Wi-Fi and it doesn't, it doesn't beep at all. So it's just like... Why? Um, I mean, what, what is the explanation here? Now it's beeping at full band. Now it's not beeping again. So 
So it cannot be that you have to hit it just right with the right combination for this thing to detect. Then it's not useful at all. So I'm going to switch it back to Wi-Fi, full band, and okay. Now it's actually doing something again. And, and you, there you go. So what happened before is a concern. So let's switch it back to full band, full sensitivity. Okay, it's actually working now. But you saw where it didn't work before. So be careful using this. Um, I guess you always have to test it to make sure it works before you start um, detecting stuff. And um, yeah, so um, it's, I guess it's just average. I don't know what else to say. Um, I'm going to put the link in the description and um, for you to buy this or other detectors on Amazon. Maybe don't buy this one. Maybe buy another um, different type or brand. Um, but if I am doing this wrong and, and you know how to do this better, maybe I just don't know how to operate it. Please your, put your comment in the description um, or in the comment section and let me know what I'm, what I'm doing wrong. Um, for now, I mean, I try to use this. I'm not really comfortable with it. I'm, I'm returning it, to be honest with you. But I uh, just want to do this review to let you know uh, this T8 intelligent detector what my experience about it is. All right, thank you for watching. I uh, hope you find this uh, video useful. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this kind of content, please subscribe to my channel. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel to see more do-it-yourself video like these and support my channel. Thank you.